In this session, we'll be detailing you about some important facts related to diatoms. Now, I have told you in diatoms, you have cellulose. The cell wall, it's made up of cellulose. But I've also told you that apart from cellulose, you have silica in their body. So what happens when they have silica in their body, they become indestructible. Indestructible means that cannot be destructed. They become rough and gritty. Now what happens during the death, because they are present in ocean, during the death when they will be dying, they will be keep on depositing in the lower layer of oceans or water bodies. When they will be depositing in the water bodies, that particular portion is still indestructible and gritty and that particular portion of dead diatoms, it's called diatomaceous earth or diatomite or kesselger. Now, kesselger is a German word which meant for silica, which is meant for the gritty nature of silica. So that particular portion of diatoms, the dead diatoms, which is gritty and indestructible, it's called diatomaceous earth or diatomite or kesselger. That particular portion of diatoms is used in various industries, various purposes. Like it is first of all used as a filter in brewing and refined ring industry. So what you have, what happens in, in what you call the purification of antibiotics, purification of syrups, we use diet, diatomaceous earth so that we can filter it easily. That is also used as metal insulating bricks, like we make the brick, those are what you call insulating bricks. We also manufacture dynamite out of it. Out of uh, what, what happens next to that is we also add them into the paint so that the paints will increase their visibility at night. We also add them in toothpaste so that the toothpaste will have the gritty nature. Remember one very important thing, they are water pollution indicator. If you know about lichen, they are air pollution indicator. But diatoms are water pollution indicator. If you try to grow diatoms into water polluted areas, they won't grow. And that is what it proves is that particular water is polluted. One more water pollution indicator, if I'll tell you, is E. coli. If you try to grow the E. coli into the fecal matter of fecal matter or uh, anything, that won't be growing. So always remember, diatoms are very good source of water pollution indicator. In next session, we'll be talking about the third photosynthetic protest that will be euglenoids.